Saudi viewers, welcome to Airy TV English News Broadcast. I'm Bersabe Tagle, and these are the major headlines for today. Festival of Higher Education Institutions continue in various colleges. Youth Organizations Week in Baran to Sabzon. Saudi Arabia resumes work of its diplomatic mission in Syria. And protest in Pakistan over the arrest of the former Prime Minister. On your local reports, the 10th Festival of the Higher Education Institutions that incorporates academic competitions, cultural and sports activities, as well as exhibition, among others, continued in Mainafi College of Science and College of Engineering and Technology, as well as Hamel Malo College of Agriculture, under the team Knowledge, Our Weapon, Development, Our Objective. The festival that was conducted at Mainafi College of Science included educational photo exhibition as well as seminar by Mr. Daniel Waldohannes from Bisha Mining Company, focusing on potential mining resources in Eritrea and its contribution in the development of the country. At the festival conducted at the College of Engineering and Technology on 8 May, Mr. Sertza Johannes Negash from the Ministry of Information conducted seminar on media outlets and their positive and and negative influence. Likewise, at the festival in Hamel Malo College of Agriculture, Mr. Solomon Tzahaye conducted seminar focusing on culture and agriculture. Youth Organizations Week, in connection with the 32nd Independence Day anniversary, was organized in Barantu Subzon from 5 to 6 May. The objective of the Youth Organizations Week, that included educational, cultural and political activities, was to develop the overall understanding and competitiveness of the youth. The Youth Organizations Week comprised general knowledge, literature, dialogue and songs competition among junior and high school students, as well as youth workers. At the conclusion event of the Youth Organizations Week, Mr. Osman Abu Bakr, head of the National Union of Return Youth and Students, branch in the subzone, commended those that contributed for the successful implementation of the program. Pointing out on the significance of the Youth Organizations Week and developing the overall understanding and competitiveness of the youth, Ambassador Mahmoud Ali Hurui, Governor of the Gashbarka region, called for its sustainability. At the event, awards have been handed over to winners of various competitions. On your last local report, the residents of Hutit and Mbatkala administrative areas are conducting developmental popular campaigns in their areas. According to report, the residents of Hutit administrative area starting from January 2023 are conducting environmental redressing, construction of school compound and renovation of administration office, as well as renovation of asphalt and dirt roads popular campaign. Likewise, the residents of Mbatkala administrative area, in cooperation with members of the different forces in their area, are conducting roads renovation popular campaign. Commending the strong participation of the residents in the popular campaigns, the administrators of both administrative areas said that the objective of the popular campaigns was to alleviate the challenges that the residents have been facing in their daily activities. And now we'll be back with the international reports after the short break. Welcome back. Saudi Arabia will reopen its diplomatic mission in Syria, the Saudi Foreign Ministry said on Tuesday, nearly a decade after diplomatic ties were cut and two days after Syria was readmitted into the Arab League. Some Arab states, including the United Arab Emirates, have turned the page with Damascus, reversing years of isolation over President Bashar al-Assad's crackdown on protesters in 2011 and the ensuing civil war. The Saudi Foreign Ministry did not say on Tuesday when the embassy would reopen. 
Syria's state news agency said Damascus has decided to resume the work of its diplomatic mission in Saudi Arabia. A regional source allied with Damascus has said that contacts between them had gathered momentum following a landmark China brokered deal to re establish ties between Saudi Arabia and Iran, a key ally of Assad. The United States, an ally of Saudi Arabia, has opposed any moves by regional countries to normalize ties with Assad, citing his government's brutality during the conflict and the need to see progress towards a political solution. Some Arab countries are also opposed. On your final report, a court in Pakistan has ruled legal the arrest of former Prime Minister Imran Khan as protesters erupted across the country after he was taken into custody in the capital, Islamabad. The arrest on Tuesday as Khan appeared in court to face corruption allegations is the latest twist in a month-long political crisis and follows several unsuccessful attempts to comprehend the cricketer-turned-politician. Senior members of the Pakistan PTI party said a six-member committee formed by Khan in March over his fears of being arrested will gather and decide the next move. Khan has been slapped with more than 100 cases, including charges of corruption, terrorism and even blasphemy. The 70-year-old denies the charges as politically motivated. He has also maintained that political parties joined forces with the country's powerful military to remove him from power. Dear viewers, and now recap of the major headlines. The Festival of Higher Education Institutions continue in various colleges. Youth Organizations Week in Baran to Sabzol. Saudi Arabia resumes work of its diplomatic mission in Syria. And protesters in Pakistan over the arrest of the former Prime Minister. Dave was that was it for today. Thanks for watching and enjoy the remaining of our programs.